I had a good start, um, outshot him for sure, but uh, we got to find a way to get it done. We, we just didn't. I think, um, you know, 5D two nights in a row, you could tell they, they were they were tired back there, and, you know, when, when that happens, their brain kind of shuts off. But, um, it, you know, it, it wasn't good enough. We, we, had, we did have a lot of chances. Again, we're, we're not burying, um, but, you know, it's a tough one. And you mentioned the defence. It was the defenceman who provided the offensive impact for you tonight. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, we, we need our forwards to be doing that. Um, simple as that. Yeah, and a big weekend for us. We've been having a hard time stringing games together, been playing very well at home, but to come into this building, um, you know, it takes a big effort to, to drag points out of this building, so I'm quite happy for the boys tonight. And picking up a win on the road as well, because that's been your Achilles heel lately. It really has. We've really sorted our uh, troubles out, in, in, you know, in, in our home rank, but... Uh, the points have been very scarce on the road, but uh, tonight we did just enough to hang on and, and take the points. Now, if you look at how the season started for the Five Flyers, probably a bit slow, but now you're kind of in the groove of things. Are we seeing the real Five Flyers now? Well, I think we're, we're starting to get a sense of what we're capable of, and it comes with a little bit of self-belief as well. You know, I, I would say the majority of our team had 18 months off. Definitely some rust there. We were playing some summer hockey at the start of the season, but uh, now we're starting to find our feet. We're adding bodies into the lineup, and uh, you know we're starting to, to pick up points here every weekend, which is key to survival in this league.